Now, if I look at the residual here, it tells us that perhaps I may have missed something. There may be another peak hidden in here somewhere. And I can very easily decide to add another peak. In my view, simply right click in the trace box, and I added another peak. I can then choose iterate again and run. And as you can see, it does significantly change the results that we had. I had a peak, this peak here moved slightly, and these have two peaks with very similar peak centers that now overlap. Now, peak fitting, there's no one right answer when you fit data. There are many mathematical solutions, depending on how many peaks you choose. I could continually add peaks here and converge on different solutions each time. So it's up to the user to determine what's reasonable for their data and which peaks make sense. Again, I can go to Options and save the data as well and overwrite my own data that I saved previously. If I decide I would like to use this, um, this peak fitting statistics again, perhaps I have many different samples to analyze in the same region, and I want to find those peaks in all of my samples, I can save a parameters file, and I can simply click Save all those parameters. And it will save a parameters file based on the fit that I just performed. And I can reload that file later on using load to load the data I just saved. When you're done with peak fitting, you simply choose exit. It brings us back into Graham's AI, and then we can open up some of the information we just saved. I go to open trace if I click on results here. And I'll auto scale so we can see it. This is our result trace. I auto scale. You can see that the result trace only saves in the, the region that we fit in. I'd like to open up the peaks that we saved. I can open up the peaks file. I want to close the other files that we saved just so that we can see our peaks. As you can see, this is a multi-file. Here's the first peak. If I hit the page down button in Grants, I can toggle through that multi-file. Here's our second peak, our third peak, our fourth peak, our fifth peak, our sixth peak, and our baseline. So those are all now saved. Let's look at our, our reports that we saved. We can first look at our peak report which is saved as a text file. As you can see in the report, it tells us the date we performed the fit, the file we used, and information about the peaks that we fitted. And I can scroll down the information about all the peaks and the baseline, as well as our statistics summary for the goodness of the fit. We also saved a CSV file with our peak information. And this file contains the actual X and Y data points for all of the peaks that we saved, as well as the fitted trace. We have our six peaks and our baseline. And this can be used to do any type of analysis in Excel and can be opened in any spreadsheet editor. So this brings us to the end of peak fitting. For more information on peak fitting or other Grams products, please visit www.gramsuite.com.